Good morning, I'm Tim Archer, and we are reading through the Bible. I've got the readings at timothyarcher.com if you want to follow along. Uh, today we're reading in Job, we're reading verse, uh, chapters uh, 13 through 17. Job 13 through 17. And, and, you know, as you read Job and, and you see this exchange he's having with his friends, over time, their relationship grows more combative and they're less generous towards one another. You know, you get insults and you get accusations and, and you get terrible things said. And Job even seems to grow angrier towards God because of what's going on with his friends. And, and that reminds me of uh, a couple of points. Um, first off, you know, when somebody's hurting, sometimes you need to not listen to the words. You need to listen to the emotion, right? Uh, they may lash out at you. They may say harsh things when they're really mad at the cancer or they're mad at death or they're mad at whatever it is making them suffer. And if we take those things personally, we're going to get hurt and, and our relationship's going to be hurt. The other thing is when we're in, in the midst of an argument, when, when we're in the midst of a back and forth discussion, we need to be careful that things don't escalate because the tendency is to let our words grow stronger and stronger, let our emotions take over more and more. <laughs> I find I kick into this mode where I want to win the debate, right? I want to win this argument. And, and at times to do that, it means attacking the other person. And that's exactly what I don't need to do. That's when I need to watch myself the most and make sure that I'm listening make sure that I'm valuing the other person and make sure that I'm judging arguments on their merit, not on my emotions. So be generous towards others that are hurting and watch yourselves in the midst of an argument. It's my suggestion for reading Job. Let's pray. Father God, we want to love you more and we want to love our neighbor more. Teach us, Lord. Point us to the cross. May we follow that example. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hope you have a great Thursday.